Hey guys, my name's Anthony Perfetto. Have you ever wanted to make a camp path that goes from third person into the player's point of view right before they start shooting? Like you've seen here in Echoes of 2019? Well, I'm here to teach you. Let's get started. So what we want to do is the key thing to get this to work properly is to be in the POV of the player you want to end up in. All right. So let's we're at, we're you know in Magus POV. So let's now get out of his POV while still tricking the engine into thinking we're in the POV. Okay. So we do Merv input camera. Okay. Now once we put that command down, we're now outside of the POV. All right. You know you did this right when there are floating arms. Okay. If you see floating arms, then you're good to go. All right. So what we do is uh, now we want to set up the camp path, right? But we have this giant crosshair in our way. Um, we could do CL draw HUD zero, but then that will get rid of the kill feed. And say you want the kill feed. You know, say that's something you want in your movie. Well, what we'll do is we'll do CL crosshair size zero. Okay. So now we have the HUD and all that stuff, but no crosshair. Okay. All right, like say we want to do something cool where the camera like is, you know, here, right? What we have to do is in order to get this kind of really smooth looking, we want to sort of have the second to last cam path framing the guy jumping off balcony and the last cam path to be inside Madge's POV, okay? So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll start a little bit past the the point that we want that second to last camp path to be and also tick wise we're not quite at the point where he's jumping off right so we're giving ourselves some room here okay so we're just going to do some dummy anchor points what i like to call them i like to call them dummy anchor points because they don't really matter much we don't really care what they look like they're just there to complete the um the the, the camp path okay so there's our first one right and um in order to get it to show up on screen, you want to do Merv Camp Path Draw Enabled 1. Okay? It's on right now. So if you want it to remove it, it's 0. If you want it to stay on the screen, it's 1. Okay? So we have our first Camp Path. Let's let some time go by. Okay? All right. So we're still good. Let's, let's put it, like, right about there. All right? Then we want to do Merv Camp Path Add. Okay? Now here's the shot. That we want to catch him in midair, right? All right, so there's that. All right, let's frame that now. Okay, here's the important part. The last camera anchor point needs to be in POV, right? So right now the engine thinks we're in POV, but because of the eight Half-Life Advanced Effects command we use, we're actually roaming around, right? So to get out of this, we hit escape, okay? So now we're back in the player's POV. So what we want to do is we want a precise moment where we want the camera to go into the POV, okay? And in order to get that, we can't do that while the demo is paused because there's a common CSGO glitch that makes the player sort of jump or glitch back and forth uh, on the map. In order to circumvent that, we have to play the demo at slow speed and add the cam path live. Now you could either bind that to a key or what I do is I type it in console, then I wait for the exact moment that I want the anchor point to be laid, and then I hit enter. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit, we're going to go to console, demo UI, okay? And then we're going to slow this down to about fourth speed, okay? And then what we do is, what I'll do is I'll type for cam path, add into console, I hit play, and then I wait, okay? And what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for the exact moment that Magis USP starts to fire because that's when I want the camp path to end at. You can obviously do it before or after, but I want it to start. I want the camp path to be in Magis POV right as he starts firing. So it should be happening any second. Okay, cool. Right as he started firing, I hit enter. The camp path is now in his POV. Okay, so let's do Merv camp path print. Let's check this out. Okay, so let's go to 6781, demo, go to tick, 6781. In order to have your cam path enabled, you want to do Merv cam path enable 1, okay? If you want to disable your cam path, Merv cam path enable 0. 
but we want to enable it. So Merv camp, camp path enable one, right? Now guys, it's really, really important that you enable the camp path while you're in point of view. If you enable the camp path when you're in third person perspective or you're outside the player's point of view, this won't work. So you have to enable the camp path while you're in the point of view of the player that the camp path eventually goes into. That's really important, so make sure you guys do that and everything should turn out all right. Let's get back to it. Then we also want to turn off these pesky anchor points on the screen, right? Earth camp path, draw, enabled, zero. Okay, now I'm going to play this at slower speed so I can take a look at it. So these first couple of camp, camp paths don't really matter. I don't really care how they look because I'm probably just going to use the second and the last camp path in my movie. So it can do this weird movement for these first couple of camp paths, but what really matters is catching him jumping up in the air and then going into POV. So it looks like it's just getting to that second camp path. Now what matters is this part here. We want this movement to be really smooth, framing the T model like so, moving back away from the action into Magus' point of view where he then starts firing. Let's see if we work. Let's see if we got lucky. All right, didn't clip that wall. We're still good. It's moving back, moving back, moving back. Here comes his arms. Beautiful, beautiful. And there you have it. A third person camp path into POV. Well, that was awesome. If you liked this video, please like, please subscribe, please comment for the holy algorithm. Help the channel out, and I hope to see you guys next time.